Uh, Kush, the head of the CDC here. Uh, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Yes. Do you take comfort in that you didn't only win by two goals, but also you keep a clean sheet, um, two games back to back? Two games back to back. But yeah, back to back, uh, keeping clean sheets. And, and, and also being three, three, yeah? Three. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so my question is, do we take comfort in that? And, and also in terms of the overall plan that you have? I'm comfortable with, uh, with the result. Uh, we really wanted uh, these three points. Um, it's been a long time that we, we didn't compete for three points in the league after our, our time in the, in the CAF competition. Uh, we finished the last game not with a good taste uh, in front of uh, Chipa and we really wanted to, to continue with a victory tonight. So we did a good job uh, um, in, the, in the again one more time in the in the different games that we faced today inside inside the 90 minutes, starting well, controlling. We managed to get a lead early in the game, eight minutes if I'm not mistaken. After that, uh, we have to modify some certain things because uh, Cape Town did it as well with the pressing a bit higher. It's been a long time that that no one was pressing as high here in Orlando, and um, they did it well. They did it very well. They forced us to divide uh, many times the ball, uh, but I think we did enough even to to get more advantage in the in the first half and the second half. Uh, I think we, we struggle a bit in the beginning, but it's normal uh, because they need to they need to change, they need to, to find other ways to the goal. Uh, but I think the contribution from the bench as well it helps to to get control in the last part of the game, and they also have a, made an effort uh, in the second half. And I think they pay a bit. They, they got a bit of fatigue in the end. So overall, I think I'm happy with the performance. It was very complete. Um, and um, yeah, mature. The team was uh, quite mature tonight, I would say. It's kind of so from the 24. Um, I know that it's still early in the season, it's only five, six games in, but Pirates look a very different team when playing at home as compared to playing it on the road here in South Africa. Are you able to actually just bring down the, the formidable Pirates that you see here at the Orlando Stadium as to why are they like that? I'm not, I'm not fully agree. Uh, I think. In, in, I'm still thinking that in Cape Town in the first game against Stellenbosch, we played a fantastic game, very complete. We couldn't capitalize what we did there, and the result uh, tell us that we were not good enough. But not in terms of uh, performance. And uh, in, against Chiba United in, in PE, I think we played good enough also. Uh, not We didn't play worse than today, for an example. So that's that's the good thing about about the guys that they they are they are quite solid. I think you, you can check the numbers uh, away and uh, away away from Orlando. I mean Orlando actually. I think I think no. I'm sure that the, the in the end of the last season we played much better away uh, than here in Orlando. We struggled. We got the results here in Orlando, but always with more difficulties. Uh, but still, it's true that in Orlando it's difficult to it's difficult for the opponents. Uh, actually, I think that the atmosphere uh, is getting is getting much better. 
to the connection between the players and the fans. I think is <coughs> it's, it's crucial for us. The atmosphere from the beginning in the in the recent games here in Orlando, it's been fantastic, and and that's that's a very good news for the boys. Um, coach, Captain Lefebvre here from the Citizen. Uh, coach, I, I know you don't like singling out uh, players, uh, but Lefasa he continues to score for you. Um, you know, what change? I mean, for the team, sorry. What change have you seen uh, from him uh, this season? And also, you know, how do you keep him grounded uh, for him to keep going and to uh, to, to continue in this goal uh, scoring form? Look. Um We, we need to make sure that our forwards, uh, the number nine, our ten swingers, the ones who are coming from second line, they they have chances. So we try to generate as much chances as possible, and I think that we, we used to do it. Uh, so that that's our obsession, to spend as much time as possible in the half of the opponent. Today, like I said, in the second half, it was tough to do it because of the the way that Cape Town was pressing. And uh, if we manage to to spend, if we are capable to have the team playing close to the goal long periods with the quality that we have in front, it's gonna work for us and it's what is happening. That's why, that's why the forwards are, are scoring. That's why maybe the goals this season are a bit more, how can I say, like straight within the group, even though uh, Sex is, uh, is in a very good moment of form and uh, is in that moment that the strikers also need, you know, to have the confidence and even if it's a rebound or, or from long, long range like today or heading, you can see that it's, it's, in a, it's in a good space and we just have to try to continue that whoever is playing there, Sex or somebody else in his position, uh, and, and like I said, the forwards they can they can have those situations. And and luckily for them, if you see the quality of the players that are playing behind them, uh, yeah, I think they they will have a, a lot of fun. Coach Rehinja, um you spoke about the fans. Um, obviously, it's a midweek game, and they did come out in numbers. Obviously. It's a lot of support. Do you personally, as a coach, take confidence in how behind they are behind you? For example, you lost the Stellenbosch game in the first game of the season, and usually in South Africa they target the coach, but they said they trust you, they believe in the project, and things like that. How much confidence do you take as a coach that the fans fully back you? No, I, I, I can't complain at all about my relation or what I get from the fans since uh, since I arrived here. Obviously, I'm, I, like I said many times, I really understand my role. Uh, I really understand that we, when the results are not the ones that the people want, something that, that will never change. There's nothing personal when they are critic. It's it's about the team performances. They have the right to do it. Uh, but at the same time, it's important for me that they, they also understand how important for the boys is to feel feel home. And even if they miss a pass or they, they made a mistake or they miss one goal, that the reaction of the people is like it is nowadays, that they, they keep, keep going, keep pushing. and. And that's very crucial for us. For me, it's fine. I'm, like I said, I understand perfectly the nature of my job. And uh, if uh, you guys, as a, as a media, you used to also focus maybe sometimes too much in the in, in the role of the coaches, like 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 saying things like "Sex is a scoring for me," or "I beat the other coach." stuff like that then the fans will will follow the same rhythm obviously but I think uh, in football and especially nowadays uh, my, my role obviously is important but uh, there's a lot of people working around myself and supporting and helping the players uh, but obviously like I said I have to accept that responsibility as well and 
and understand that our fans, what they want is to see the team winning and scoring goals and attacking and try to try to give them uh, that kind of show. When it's not possible, we, we just try to work hard and do it and do it again the next time. But hopefully, the next time there's forty thousand instead of ten thousand. That's that's our target. That we can fulfill this this stadium every three days. Hi, coach. It's Ferguson Radio Two Thousand. Can you just take us through the sub at halftime with CBC? Was it? Tactical because he had a yellow card, and also with the captain coming on by yellow, obviously competition is is tough for for places. Where do you think is best suited and challenging for a place in this team, left back or centre back? The sub was uh, yeah, we got an early yellow card. Cape uh, Town was playing a lot of diagonal balls behind CB, trying to find a Darwin in the first or in the second ball. And uh, we didn't want to take any risk today um, uh, for several reasons, and uh, and uh, yeah, that's why we decided to go with uh, with Ino after the after the half time. Um, just a follow-up with the cap with the captain. Obviously, it's tough for places in the starting. It's tough team. for everyone. 36 players, all of them are very good players. Uh, they are available for selection right now. Fit, hungry, pushing, training very well. So that's a very good news for Orlando Pike. I meant the position. Do you think is best suited at left back or centre back? For we you? have a lot of players fit and versatile and. Uh, Fighting every single training to to have a place in the star eleven. Uh, it doesn't matter. We do we play? Did we play with fullbacks today? You have Marco on the left. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> you can tell us. Don't you? <laughs> so that's the thing. We try to we try to find the proper players for for every game and the way that we want to, especially the way we want to attack. And uh, yeah, luckily we have a lot of versatile players in the squad, and the one that you mentioned is not an exception, and he can do it in a very high level in, in every position that you mentioned before. Final question? Anything else on the final? Coach Katejo again. You can hear me? Yes. Yes, uh, Coach Katiako again. Uh, we've seen some strange results already. Katiako, why are you using my microphone? Um, it's off. No, it's not. Oh, you guys can hear me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, uh, we, uh, sorry. we've seen some strange results uh, already in the season. And obviously, even also Super Sport today uh, lost. Uh, you had the strange results against us. But you know, generally, what have you made of the standard uh, of the league uh, this season? And how do you see it? Um, to be honest with you, I'm I'm really really focusing in, in our team, and uh, I did have the opportunity obviously to to watch, uh, especially our opponents, all the ones that we already play, and some of some of our opponents as well to see. Especially the, the, for two reasons, the, the ones with a new coach to see what's going on there and the ones who have continuity to see if something is changing, just to be aware. But we are, we are in the first, first stage of the season. It seems that we start at least, I feel that I started six months ago, but it's only how long, four weeks. Uh, so it's normal. I think yesterday in La Liga, Atletico Madrid beat Rayo Vallecano 7 nil could be away game. Uh, these things happen sometimes early in the season. In modern football, the precisions are not the same that the precisions were anymore. Uh, most of the teams, I'm not saying here, but uh, they don't have so much time to train sometimes to 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 start the season, you know, in a in a in a good in a perfect moment and then you can find that instability in the results. I don't really know which result you mentioned or you are you are making a reference about our league. It is in first our... game, I mentioned your first game. Uh, 
Do you think it's an anomaly to lose like one game in, in instead of? No, really? that's, that's why I'm asking you that uh, you know the competition seems. You know, I think Stellen must be Sundowns as and Super Sport in in if we count the last period of the last season. So it's not an anomaly to go there. And it's unpredictable. That's what I'm trying to I'm say. I'm not agreeing. Okay. <laughs> no uh, doubt. Today in football, the distances are not that big anymore. Trust me, you have to change the, that perception. If the, no, it's not due to the a lot of things that now surround the teams. You know, it's not only about plays. It's the fitness condition is the analysis. Is the it's a lot of things that can make the the game very tight and equal. You know, so but yeah, I think that's that's my point of view. Thank you guys. Good questions again. <laughs>